bad ruling. Oh jeez. This okay. is absurd. Okay, so let's let's go to let's go to this match. Uh, yeah. Okay, we have a match. Over. Cool. We, have, uh, we don't have to talk we, about this one just this, yet. This is bizarre. This is one of the weirdest rulings I've ever heard of. All right, so we have uh, on our left we have Bobby Kovacs. Uh, uh, right, usually we have on lands, I believe. Yes, he is a <laughs> lands aficionado. Finished. Uh, did he won the Detroit Legacy Open last year? I believe against so. Against Caleb Durwood, playing he was playing lands. He is in fact playing lands. We have Brandon Penn playing a Bayou and a Sensei's Divining Top. Maybe a neck fit type deck. Possibly some kind of, oh wow, two Mox Diamonds, a Life what? from the Loam, get back the those two. Jeez. Uh, this is a good start for Bobby. Creeping Tarpit, go. And uh, Bobby knows his, uh, he plays at a very frenetic pace yes. because of all the actions he has to take. Yes. And he also has played this deck. Very often, yes. he plays it very well from what yes. I've seen. Looks like he might just, Brandon might just be some kind of bug variant. Yep. Likely just some kind of bug control deck that has access to Sensei's Dividing Top. Uh, mm -hmm. We're still waiting on lists. So, um, looks like Bobby's trying to set up for a challenge on one next turn, potentially. Maybe, yeah. Then he could get into, he has an, uh, an Engineered Explosives and a Chalice of the Void. Uh, Dark Confidant from... Brandon? He drew a card, that's interesting. I might have tried to... Dredge? Dredge a, uh, a Jill Life from Alone. Well, I think he's looking for... Because if he dredges a land that he can play, yeah, he can uh, cast the loam. Chalice for one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Brandon is basically playing a bug. Oh yeah. A bug mid rangers type deck. He has the Deathrite Shaman Abrupt Decays that we were talking about earlier. Oh, he's got counter top deck. Yeah, he's gonna supplement it with Counterbalance Sensei's Divining Top, uh, Time of Grave, Dark Confidant, some Planeswalkers. Yeah. Uh, so Bobby's going for uh, he, Teleria West's uh, Transmute. Yep, the Teleria West that he rebought off the Life from the Loam last mm -hmm. year. Gets a Tabernacle at Pendle Vale. And he's going to play it and tie up uh, Brandon's mana. Brandon opts to pay for a bomb. Mm -hmm. Upkeep reveals the Deathrite Shaman. Yeah, the uh, consistently missed on camera Tabernacle of uh, yeah. Pendle Vale shows up. Uh, I might have gotten uh, a Wasteland if I'm uh, Bobby there. I, I'm not... Oh, yeah, we can start locking him down. Yeah, because he does have the Life No, we can um, dredge Loam next turn. Oh, we aren't quite there. Short on mana. It's going to take two turns to get a Wasteland. All right, so Blame the, the death very right dangerous Deathrite Shaman. Cuts off Loam, though does cost him a mana every turn. So... Looks like Bobby has a Krakus, a Academy Runes, and... A herbivore tomb of Yawgmoth. And so, gives him, gives Bobby some choices on what he wants to do here. Uh, um, he's probably casting Life from the Loam for yeah. one more time this turn, <clears throat> this game basically. Well, he has engineered explosives at one that he can blow. Okay. I think that he, he wants to spend a turn of Brandon locking down his own mana. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other thing is, um, <sighs> Brandon. Without, um, oh, he can, oh, wow, that's fantastic. He can get back the Urborg. Okay. So when he gets back the, the Urborg, the mana. Tabernacle at Pendlevale actually makes mana. Oh, wow. So that lets uh, Him Bobby play Engineered Explosives for one, and then uh, crack it. I think I may lead on the Chalice for one if I'm going to do that, though. Uh, it depends on how much you want to protect that life from the loam, I guess. Looks like Bobby has a second one, actually, so it's not that big of a deal for yeah, him. Yeah, if he loses the Krakus, uh, no big the only, deal. The only yep, Chalice one, as we expected. Mm -hmm. uh, what this will do, uh, well, it'll get forced. But what it would have done is it when Explosives uh, blows up the Sensei's Divining Top, Brandon can draw, but he can't redraw. Uh, what do you mean? You get recast the Sensei's Divining Top. Oh, yeah. Top. The Chalice is getting Force of Will? It is. Exiling uh, Jace, which I think is a big, uh, 
benefit for Bobby. Uh, yeah, for Jace sure. is one of the best cards against lands. So, uh, looks like because, uh, we're going to pay for both activating the Deathrite Shaman to exile the Caracas. Oh, wow, oh, okay. Bob reveals another Bob. I think Bobby's okay with this. He has another challenge that he can set on one and the mana to EE for one next turn. Uh, yeah, one thing I might do if I'm Bobby, play the explosives first. Yeah, that gives him his axes. He can still play black black for the explosives. Right. To make it an explosives with one counter that costs two mana. Yes. Uh, explosives counts the sunburst. And not the... So Oblivion Stone, Ghost Quarter, and uh, a foil. Yeah. <laughs> Of his many. Yeah. Looks like we have... Loam. <coughs> Get back. Porter and... Oh, wow. There are uh, no basics in Brandon's I deck. I think... Uh, Bobby may have learned this in a previous game. Yes. Brandon tops in response. Jeez. This Ghost Porter locks in. Yeah, so Ghost Porter normal. is a land. It's standard legal, in fact. Um, mm -hmm. It lets you uh, destroy a land, any land. Yep. But that, the control of that land gets to get a basic. From but the back in the play Brandon does not have any basics. So. He does not. And that means that Bobby is effectively playing with five strip mines in this matchup. Yeah. Engineered Explosives for one is going to resolve and take out Deathrite Shaman. Mm -hmm. And likely Sensei's Divining Top will return to the top of... Oh, we're Chalicing first. Okay. Okay. I may have blown the Explosives. Uh, actually, you can find another Strip Mine effect. Mm -hmm. uh, like, losing the Ghost Quarter here isn't the end of the world. <clears throat> you just want to be sure that you can't cast another Deathrite Shaman before you start going again. Yeah. So, Brandon fetches. Uh, so, this is interesting. The Deathway Shaman will exile lands to basically pay for itself. Yes. Under, uh, Tabernacle. under Tabernacle. Uh, but what it does is it exiles lands from Bobby's graveyard. Correct. That he can limiting no his options with life with yeah. However, he still does get to loan up three cards every turn, which means he's on average probably about one land up a turn. Yeah. One, two, yeah. You're Just mostly decks play between, you know, 35 or so land, actual lands. Uh, it looks like Bobby's playing 35. Okay. So the bare minimum. Since I was dividing top getting activated here. Uh, there's a surgical extraction and a wasteland. Well, that Waste would be the second land of this turn, correct? Yeah, that would in fact be the second land of this turn. That is not a legal yeah, play. Yeah, the wasteland can't come into play. Yeah. Nope. Figure that out. Dark Confidant uh, bashes Bobby to 60. Brandon's actually at a reasonably low life level, so Bobby doesn't have to be too concerned with the clock at this point, if you like. Assuming right, the time that we have is correct. Mm -hmm. Transmute. Uh, oh, he has the Talaria West to transmute, so the Ghost Quarter is completely irrelevant. Yeah. He's likely going to find a Wasteland of his own. Yeah, I, Brandon getting this Wasteland and Wastelanding Bobby is uh, kind of awkward, actually. Uh, I believe, yeah, Wasteland there. Yep. Uh, Pop explosives. Blow, yeah, blow the explosives. Even though the Chalice of the Void is on one counter, it has a uh, mana cost of zero. Well, in play. In play, yes. And two on the stack. Yes. Alright, so Brandon and we're just sees the right the wall. He knows what's up. Yeah, he's locked himself under the Sensei's Divining Top that was on top of his deck for another turn. Mm -hmm. He could not cast the Abrupt Decay in his hand there. Yeah. And then Bobby next turn kills his other land, and then yeah. he just never has the ability to cast a spell ever again and mm -hmm. dies to a creeping top. Yeah. Okay. And Fast Bobby forward, has yeah. we're done here. Right. So, and, that, and there was plenty enough time. Uh, you see yeah. Bobby play at a really quick pace or whatever. 